Hi, this is Birdie and you're watching Pop Crush. My album has a Japanese influence and I think that comes from reading a book called Memoirs of a Geisha, which I read at the beginning of kind of the whole process and um, I was just really inspired by it. I've never actually been to Japan, but um, it, um, I think it was the way the landscapes were described so beautiful and I think I'm quite affected by my place. And, um, yeah, it just really inspired the melodies. I really hope to go to Japan. <laughs> I feel like I have to go on this album because it's I'm like on the front cover I'm wearing a kimono so it's just quite apt. <laughs> I decided to name the album Beautiful Eyes. Um, I think a lot of the reasons is because it sounds nice and it looks nice, but also because of the song on the album, which is really meaningful to me. And it um, it's kind of about change and it's about um, like at the beginning of, of making this album I moved to London for the first time so I moved from my family home and I was living by myself in London and I've been there for about a year so it's kind of about being free for the first time but also missing your family and kind of wishing the moment could last forever. Keeping Your Head Up is quite different to a lot of the songs on the album I think. Um, it's definitely more uplifting, more upbeat um, but it was it was really natural. It was um, I'd actually written this it was more of a ballad when it started. Um, I had the verse and like the pre-chorus and then um, I wrote it with uh, Steve Mack and Wayne Hector. We finished it together and it became something completely different, which was so cool. And that's probably why I've been stuck on it this whole time. I had this like verse for months and months and not been able to finish it. Yeah, the video for Keep Your Head Up was really fun. Um, it was a tiny little trampoline <laughs> that I had to like do three jumps on and try and get the dress to make this beautiful shape. It took me so long. I, mean, we ha I think we actually used like the first take in the end because I could never get it to, to do it again. But um, yeah, it was amazing. It was an amazing day. Well, I've got a new band for live shows, which is really, they're really amazing. Um, and the songs are a lot more upbeat, so we can play with that a bit, I think. Um, but um, I'm wearing my kimono on stage now, which is pretty cool. So um, I'd like to try a few different things. I haven't really thought about it completely yet, but I'd like to, I love like, I love the theater and I'd love to like do some of that somehow. <laughs> I can't dance at all, so probably not any choreography. Well, not me anyway. I will not be doing dancing.